As Iran and global powers have reached a historic nuclear deal, Tehran's ambassador to Afghanistan says the deal easing crippling economic sanctions will also benefit security and development in his country's neighbors. Bilateral trade between Iran and Turkey is estimated to reach 35 billion US dollars by the end of next year. Americans have expressed their welcome and expectations to the opening of a Cuban interest section which will become the Cuban embassy in the United States later today. Cuba and the United States are set to formally restore diplomatic relations today after 50 years and open embassies in each other's capitals. Many cities in India's central Madhya Pradesh state were inundated by flood waters yesterday after days of heavy rainfall. Transportation was disrupted due to damaged roads, bridges and railway tracks. Annual rainfall is essential in India as rain supports two-thirds of the 1.25 billion population living in rural areas who rely on farming. Three opposition candidates, including two former presidents, have announced their withdrawal from Burundi's upcoming presidential elections. The latter announcing the pullout from next Tuesday's election is the latest blow to the country's political system, which has been rocked by months of violence after the incumbent president Pierre Nkurunziza announced his bid for a third term. Greek banks are set to reopen today after three weeks of closures sparked by the deadlock over the country's debt. Athens reached an agreement with its international creditors last week in a cash for reforms deal that helped Greece avoid exiting the Eurozone. But several restrictions remain in place, and Greeks also face price rises with an increase in value-added tax.